Hey, this is Gene. Looks like uh, Mason Greenwood is back in the news. So I guess I have to come out and somewhat defend him again. Uh, I saw a video, I think he actually posted it yesterday, from Sam Peoples from United Peoples TV. And he, he basically asked what people believe that she'll be taken back. And he basically said that his opinion hasn't really changed. And I, he got to the point where he said that nothing really would ever change his mind. So clearly he doesn't want him to come back. I guess it's some, this idea, this, this message that we would give to victims of abuse uh, to employ that type of person. I was very critical of certain, um, including Sam, Sam and uh, Mark Goldridge and some of the other people that basically him and hawed about this for a long time. And they used the cover of saying that it's under Invincation, I can't say the word. In, in, it's under, they look at it. And I guess in England, if you say certain things, you could be sued for saying things. And eventually at the end, they actually made their mind up about it. I always went in with an open mind, regardless of what the audio, the, the, the video, or the uh, pictures, I always had an open mind with it because I know as a former whites, women's, men's rights advocate, I know this stuff can be fabricated or it doesn't really tell the entire truth of the situation. I was critical, critical of both those channels and one of the reasons why I was because at least on the United Stand, they blamed the club. Even though the club did a thorough investigation of it and the Crown did the same thing and they came from basically the same um, decision, let's say, that there was more evidence that's not been publicly available. Uh, so, and also that the person that was abused, apparently, allegedly, no longer wanted to press charges, let's say. And therefore they couldn't have enough to actually prosecute the, the, and the crime and, and get a conviction. So they stopped it for now. Now, things like this can always come back. Uh, if more evidence come in, that it's clear that he did this, that the, the Crown can come back in and still do what they're going to do. And I was very vocal about it because there was enough, enough evidence that said that they've had this type of relationship. They, had, they were doing role, role playing type of stuff where he was doing physical things with her that she was okay with. And as bad as that, that audio sounds, it could be all part of that. And she made these um, recordings that if some, some way to get back to him if he did something that, that she didn't want him to do. And he had some issues with he, he had girls in, in his room. He, I know he's, he cheated on her and all that stuff. But I just, when somebody like Sam, and, and I really respect the dude, I do. Of all the fan channels out there, I think he's the most level-headed. I think what's happened with United Stan, I think that Mark is a, is a real fan, because people say he's not. I think that he, he gained so big, and now he's got people also that have their opinions on his channel, and some of them are so out of, out of tune and they're, they are basically vilifying players <laughs> when they have no idea how to play the game. And, you know, Mark, for the most part, doesn't really do that. Sometimes he does, of course. If McGuire makes a, a mistake or something like that, he does say things. But he's got other people on his channel who don't really understand. And they just say certain things that are just, I mean, you, you want opinion. I get that. He's, and he's got this huge channel and, you know, the biggest channel in the world for that type of thing. And, you know, I'm a capitalist. I want him to do well. But just the whole thing with Mason Greenwood, he just he didn't say anything for a long time. And then he came out at the end and said, the club just handled it wrong. Because it's always about the Glazers, Glazers, and Glazers. And as bad as the Glazers has been, I think that they, they handled the Mason Greenwood, the people that were in charge of that did it cor correctly. And I said that in my video back then when this came out. And I said, this is what you want. You want your... your, your uh, you want everything. You want everybody not to be offended if he has to come back. So what would it take if, if somebody like Sam Peoples, who I think is a very logical, rational dude, um, somebody who's also been through marriage and stuff like that and somewhat understands female nature, um, when he says on his forum, forum he's got 400,000 people that, that subscribe to him, he has a good outreach, and he says there's just nothing that could be done to change his mind. And I just, I can't deal with that. I'm sorry. I've seen so many things happen to dudes 
people are in prison for shit that women said about them. And then we found out later on that it was all bullshit. And these guys had to be in prison forever. And maybe they didn't get killed in prison. So I just, I can't ever go there. And the issue I have is that why do we care about what other people think about it? Now, as a private country, a private industry like Manchester United, he could say, I don't, we don't want any of the, uh, any of the public uh, backlash and stuff. And they can do that. I have no issue with that. But when Sir Jim Rafflick come out and said, we're just still looking at it. And was it Woodward before that said that we, we did this whole thing? And I don't know who it was. I have to go back in my video. But the guy that actually did for Manchester United that, that Mark was so upset with said that there was more here. And that basically they believe Mason Greenwood. But we don't want him to come back. Okay. So when somebody that I can say I respect, but don't know the man, but I think he's been through shit in his life. I, obviously, his physical issues that he has. Um, and the fact that he had, he had a, a marriage that was dissolved. So I know he's, he's gone through certain things like this. Just because you hear audio or you see a picture doesn't ne necessarily mean the entire thing. And the really interesting thing that I have about this whole thing is, is that there's so many white nighters on the internet saying, I don't want him back at his club and he needs to learn for what he did and women should not be abused. There's thousands of women that get abused and never get their day in court. And I'm like, so you, you wanna to listen to those women, although not all of those cases are real, uh, a lot of those are fake. I'm going to tell you about eight, probably half of all, a quote, uh, alleged abuse is about half real. The other is just fat, fat, uh, as a way to get, at... oh, I can't believe these people keep calling me all the time. So, um, I'm not saying that there are women out there that, that get abused and don't, no one takes them seriously and all that stuff. But let's talk about her specific, specifically. Are we ever going to say to her, hey, we're going to trust what you believe now. You took away your, your complaint against him. You're staying with him. Um, he is the father of your kid. And you're still with him. Maybe she doesn't want to come back. If she says to Mason, hey, look, if they want to come back, but I don't want to come back. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to feel with people looking at me and stuff like that. If Mason says, that's that's great, I'm not going to do that. But if she says, hey, I want you to go back. I want you to get your redemption back. I want that that that, that arc to come back and everybody see that we're a good family. She doesn't really have to. And I said that back then, that she really, they both to be out there and have a press conference and talk about what actually happened. And he said, and people said, he's not, he's not atoned for anything. He said it after we thought he was going to actually be terminated by the club. He said that, that he has his own part of what he did. He's clearly hinting that there was something more here. And the Crown said this as well. The club said this as well. And people just think this is not real. That because the club said this and the Crown said that, doesn't means that that's all it is. That what she said is 100% true. And she didn't say anything because she said she was hacked. All right. Um, but when they, when they actually look at it and they have the entire audio of it, and they say, no, there's something more here. And then apparently they want to make sure that that was never released in full because I think, and I said it back then, I think it makes it, it's a, it's a bad lag on her. And he, he did what he did. And he was like, you know what? We we're, we're past this, this and all that stuff. We won't do it to, to each other anymore. I think that that's more logical than he was just beating the shit out of her all the time. Now let's also talk about her nature in this. She knew exactly what she was doing when she was stalking at a football uh, training ground. This is what these girls do. They want to get married to a football player because all the money that's involved with that and the fame and all that stuff. Doesn't mean that their relationship is not based on love, but this idea that this does not happen, happens, okay? And as men and a lot of women, we sit there and we, we almost look at women as retarded children. We think that they have no agency in what they do. And that's the thing when Mark or, or with... Uh, Sam says this and people online saying this and like she has no agency in any of this. Apparently she had no agency then, but now when she has agency, she says, I want to stay with him. She could have just destroyed him, could have went to the mirror, could have wrote a book. She could have made millions of dollars being a, a victim activist for the rest of her life. And she didn't do it. It makes you wonder if there's a lot more here. It doesn't mean that the club should take him back. 
And I'm okay with anybody who has that, that statement, but he can't, they can't just do it because of what he did, allegedly. If that's the only reason and you think you're going to save all women because of this, and that you're worried about the women's team and what they're going to feel if he comes back, are they going to be so frightened by him, right, frightened by him? That's just, it's, 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 it's stupidity. It really is. Um, personally, I think get, he, he should get the redemption that he deserves. If she's staying with him, I give her own agency. She's made that decision as an adult female. And she's realizing she has her, she has her kid with him. So she's making that decision. If he's, he's this bad man, why is she staying with him when she's clearly, clearly could leave him at any time and wrote a book about him, have video, do, a, do some um, interviews, and she would make enough money to take care of her and the baby for the rest of her lives. And plus, they would still get money from Mason for the rest of their lives. But she's still with him. Do you think that now she, 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 she control, he is controlling her? Or wait, he isn't controlling her and still doing that, that this man has had the ability to manipulate women? I don't think that's the case here. <laughs> I think that these are, these are two people that were cooped up during the pandemic. They, they try to do things to, to basically excite themselves. Maybe one of them went too far. And she got to the point where maybe he did something. He said, you know what, I'm going to start recording this in case I, ha you know, something happens to me. And then she did that, which, which is fine. I don't think she should do that. You should never do that to somebody, quote, unquote, love, right? And the fact is England has enough places that she could have went to and been fine. And the fact that she is playing, she's a, she's a girlfriend to a footballer. She, again, at that point, she would have been taken in and looked at as this heroine of, going against this type to toxic masculinity that, that in fact it infests sport in the world. And she didn't do this. She might have tried to do it at first, but she basically never said that she did this. She didn't, she didn't, she said she was hacked. I think that she was upset about something. Uh, maybe she was drunk, she let it out there, and she just didn't realize that was where she was naive. She didn't realize that everybody was gonna see it and eventually all this would happen. And then she's like, oh, I just screwed up my life here because I'm going to be, this, this person has is, is got the baby inside me, and I really love him, and I was pissed up about that. But yeah, there's an audio out there, and there's pictures that can clearly be got doctored. Um, and the fact that they have this history, that they have this type of relationship where they are kind of somewhat role-playing, kind of very, very physical against each other. And there's a lot of people at that age group that have this, and people don't want to talk about that either. They're okay that they're trans or bi or flurry or something like that and we just oh they're just Ugh. but they don't think that there might be the other part where they're more degenerate with their love bane making let's say and it's like again you're telling it that he ha there's no rate redemption back for him back in Manchester United okay that's fair my issue is just the statement like there's nothing that could be done that I could ever not sur I basically he's basically saying I will never forgive him for what he did to her I guess and because of that he'll never be able to come back and play for Manchester United and I know that that's probably the majority idea. But when the woman who happens to be actually an adult female, who is a mom, who has a kid, who says, hey, I'm fine. I, I wish, again, I wish they would sit down with, the, with the, the press and have this conversation. But I, to me, I just, I tried to, when I actually responded to him in his camp comments, I said, the Christian thing is to allow him to have the redemption to have the to acknowledge his failing failing as a father, as a husband, and all that good stuff. And I think he did that. People say he didn't do it. I think he kind of did. She has to have atonement as well because I don't care what happens. She still has agency in this as well. She does. Um, so there has to be a time that, as, as Christians, we have to step back and allow them to have that and have that redemption. I don't really care about the women's team or... Fan, uh, women's fans or anything like that, or even men that have a problem with him. I just, is that all we're going to do now? We don't, do we, do we run our club based on what the fans want to buy us in, in the transfer or, uh, window? We don't that. We've never done that before. Yeah, it would be difficult. There would be a lot of people out there, a lot of feminist uh, organizations and uh, women's groups and saying he shouldn't be back there. But it would be a powerful uh, statement if she was there with him, with the baby, I guess there would be doc toddlers now, out in the middle of that field as he comes back and plays for Manchester United. Now, he should do whatever he wants to do. And I said in my video back then, I said, I hope he goes out and just lights up the, the La Liga 
go, gets a big move to Madrid or Barcelona and get Ballon d'Ors and wins leagues and wins Champions Leagues and he has five or six more kids and they stay together for the rest of their lives. That would be the F you to everybody else who believes they knew everything was what's going on in that relationship. Again, when are we going to give her agency here? Or right, now, right back then, I guess, he had all the power. And, and she had a, a possibility there. She had power that she could have really destroyed him and have all the, taken all his money from him and everything like that, and, and she didn't do that. She stayed with him. There's, there's more here than just that, okay? I don't know. None of us were in that room. Just because you hear audio and see pictures doesn't really mean shit. But when the Crown and, and the club comes out and said there's more evidence, uh, evidence here and it's been not taken out, it's not been given out to the public, then we have to somewhat, not trust them, but say there's more here. And I think that he deserves to get it back. This is a guy that was at the club since he was eight years old. But anyway, I'm going to stop right there. I have no issue with Sam. That's his own opinion. I think that's probably the majority of opinion. Way too many men like him think this way because we feel we have to protect women, and I'm with them on that. Um, but it, when a woman actually says, I don't need it, and the thing is, all these white knights, dude, I just want to let you know, anybody who sees this, video who happens to be white knighting on time she doesn't care she's with them you're not who are you whiting white knighting to other women maybe that's not how it works i'm, I'm just letting you know that that doesn't know how it works i'm just she had all the power after this she could have went on tvs she could have read a book she could have been um an advocate for women's suffrage or whatever and she would have making millions and millions and millions of dollars pounds she didn't do it she stayed with them he ain't because he ain't the smartest person in the, in the world being able to manipulate her. I don't believe that at all. So I think there's more than just this. I wish people understand that. If you think that we're so frail that we can't welcome back in a former person that's been there for 12, 14 years and give him a, a redemption um, story, I feel sorry for you. I do. I think he deserves it. You guys have a good day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.